What's up guys, this is Matei with Tech Vitamins again. Today I want to show you the new Chrome Notebook. Let's see what this thing is all about. This is going to be just a quick, you know, couple minute review, but my man Ted is going to be doing a detailed review at the end of the week. So please comment on this video, let us know what you would like to know about specifically in terms of functionality of this little thing. And uh, he'll go ahead and, you know, try to get into it in detail and uh, do a full review on it. So, you know, let's go ahead and open up this box. Alright, the packaging is pretty standard, you know, we're not talking about Apple here, you don't get, you know, pretty boxes and, uh, you know, things that look like candy, but, you know, you got uh, wires, power cords and so forth, and here's the actual notebook, I got it in white, so let's go ahead and unwrap, seems pretty light, I mean, obviously it's not a, um, pad, or, you know, in that family, but it's definitely feels fairly light, we got, a USB input right there, USB port, and a monitor out of, I'm assuming it's going to be a mini HDMI, I've got a headphone jack, um, a power cord input right here, if you could see this, the lighting may be a little bit off, but we've got the SD card slot for external storage, and on the other side we have a port for your um, SIM card for 3G and a switch between the user accounts of these uh, 3G accounts and then we got our USB, another USB drive right there so you know the people that love the Wagberry and uh, iPad you guys better watch out this is uh, Google's attempt at you know making another internet ready or internet oriented uh, machine here and let's see if they're going to take over the market with this one like they did with Android oh uh, man that was pretty fast I just opened it up and uh, it loaded right away and it's uh, asking me to basically set it up so let's go ahead and do that and see what we got here alright we entered our password so let's go ahead and click on connect alright we got internet google chrome os terms let's go ahead and accept let's continue now apparently uh, the chrome os is not an open source uh, operating system uh, not like the android at least um, this operating system is a derivative of uh, Chromium OS uh, which also used to be the Chromium browser initially which is based off Linux but uh, this is Google's version of it and let's see how well this thing is going to be able to run um, you know, the computer. Now keep in mind this is mainly designed for the internet and internet applications I mean you know, we are talking about the cloud here but obviously you're not going to be using this for processing heavy programs or applications like Photoshop or music production or video editing is not for that. This is you know, strictly for the internet, on the go, for business people. So let's see if Google's done a good job with this. You know. Alright, we're back. That was actually a little bit disappointing. It took about 10 minutes to uh, get some updates and restart this thing. But, uh, you know, knowing Google, um, it's probably because they updated and debugged the software so much since it was released two weeks ago, made available in these notebooks. So, you know, I'm not mad at them. Uh, right after restart, which was very lightning fast, let's go ahead and log in. And again, I'm going to be using my Google Apps account. So I'm going to go Matei at techvitamins.com here. So let's see how fast this will take. Oh wow, there we go. Right in there. So now, where is going to ask me to get some a picture? Uh, let's go ahead and use a little beaker. That looks good to me. Let's see. Alright, so the you know the first page, other than going to um, a new window or new tab and using this as a regular browser, which everybody knows how to do, you got little directions on how to use this thing right up front, teaches you how to click, single click, you know. Then we go to right click, which is pretty interesting. Use both fingers and hold to right click. Two finger scroll. Let's see. Alright, so I'm scrolling with two fingers. And let's see, drag and drop. So I'm gonna grab this thing and put it in a circle. There we go. Alright, so when I close the initial window or the initial tab that I was in, we'll go to the new tab and basically you have these icons that you can choose from to do different functionality so we got our Google Calendar which is going to be linked to your Google Apps or Gmail account you can go to YouTube right away um, we got a Google Docs which is very useful Scratchpad, Gmail of course, Web Store and Google Talk um, and this has a camera so 
the Google Talk, you'll be able to do video chat and all that good stuff that um, Google allows you to do. And I'm sure you can fill the screen up with more and more apps as you you know download them. So you can also put bookmarks here. So it's essentially a browser, but uh, you can see where this thing is going. Um, we're gonna have Ted review all the different apps that are available and. Uh, Install some new ones just to show you um, some functionality of this thing and you know what it's capable of, how you can use it for daily use, just you know for media, looking at websites, browsing, or even business use. So um, please go ahead and comment on our page, subscribe to our channel, and let Ted know what you guys want to see at the end of the week. We're going to have a detailed review of this guy. I'm very excited to see what Google's going to do with this. Again, please comment on our page, subscribe, and let Ted know what you guys want to see in a detailed review.